In this video, we're going to show you how you can integrate BIP Suite Enterprise Edition with GitLab. Once the integration is complete, you'll be able to raise GitLab issues directly from BIP for vulnerabilities that are found by your scans. Now, before you start, you'll need to make sure that you have access to BIP as an administrator, you have access to your GitLab instance as an administrator, and that you're also either the maintainer or the owner for the GitLab projects which you want to create issues on. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to generate a GitLab impersonation token. GitLab have recently changed how their access tokens are generated, and as a consequence, the token exceeds our character limit for access tokens. You can use the following workaround to get around this. If you go to the URL that's shown on the screen, you can remove the personal access token prefix from the GitLab configuration and then save the changes. This should shrink the GitLab access token down to the required length. Once you've done this, you can then generate the impersonation token. To do this, you should go to GitLab and then go to the admin area. In here, you should select the user which you want Burp to use to raise the GitLab issues. To do this, I'm going to go to users and then I'm going to click on my user. Once we're here, we're going to click impersonation tokens and then add a new token. We're going to give the token a name and we're going to set the expiration date. I'm going to set this for February 2024, and I'm also going to give it the scope of API. I'm then going to create the impersonation token. You'll need to copy this token because you won't be able to see it again. I'm just going to store it safe in my notepad. Once you have the impersonation token, we're going to go back into Burp, go to the cog icon, and then go to Integrations. We're going to click Configure under GitLab, and we're going to put in the API URL for GitLab, as well as the access token. So the API URL is just the URL of your, of your GitLab instance. So for me, it is this. And then I'm going to put in the impersonation token that I just copied before. And then going to click Connect. If you see this page, you know that Enterprise has successfully connected to GitLab. Now, at this point, you need to choose either manual issue creation, automatic issue creation, or both. If you want to use manual issue creation, then you can select the projects where you want the issues to be raised. I'm going to put this in my project bird project, and I'm going to choose the issue type as an issue. If you want to allow issues to be raised in multiple projects, you can add more projects in by clicking the plus button. If you want to enable automatic issue creation, you can toggle the enable section here, and select the projects where you want it to be raised and the issue type. You can then also configure the thresholds as to when tickets should be raised, based on severity or confidence. Once you're happy with the settings, you can then click save, and the settings will be saved. At this point, you can go to a scan which is already completed. I've got one here. You can find an issue which has been raised, and you can raise the GitLab issue directly from within Burp. I'm going to create a new issue in my project bird project as an issue and I'm going to click create. And then you can see that the ticket has been raised here and you can click directly from burp to go straight to the ticket which has been raised in GitLab. And that's how you integrate GitLab and burp suite.